Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be going over my new team. This is the team that I plan to take online. It needs a few adjustments. I'll point them out as we get to them, but let's hop into this. We'll hop into my offense first. Uh, we're rocking the new Deshaun Jackson BCA, but we'll get over that. We'll start with the offensive line. Uh, the best, I think it's the best gold offensive line you can have. It's all speed run. I think there's better than Alex Boone, but I'm not sure. I think there is for some reason. I think there's a better gold right guard than Alex Boone, but I could be wrong. Uh, but just like it has been since, I think, day one. I think I pulled all these guys, too. Uh, yep, day one pull of Solder. Uh, I think this is a day one pull. Oh, no, that's not day one pull of Levitre. Uh, but that's day two pull of Khalil. Uh, let's see here, Boone. I think Boone maybe day one. No, Boone I had to buy back because I sold my Boone because I bought the DeCastro and then I decided I don't want DeCastro. Uh, Cherilus, I think he's day one. Yep, Cherilus was day one. So this offensive line I think was day one. I think I sold a Levitre that I pulled day one and I pulled Boone day one. So uh, it's a day one team. Day one, day two team. Uh, tight end still Casper. Uh, backup tight end still Gates. I want that fantasy one. But I'm not, I was not, I was not going to pay the price they wanted for that, so I'm just going to let Gates go. Um, his 84 does me just fine. Uh, but let's hop into the wide receivers. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, the new one that came out, the 89 overall. I needed to collect mine anyway. I needed to collect it in order to uh, do the Redskins collection when I get to that, which is one of the last ones. I don't know why I collected him. I could have sold him, but... You know what, I'm just trying to get all the cards that I can into those collections um, so I can kind of tally up how much it's going to cost and just be done with it. Uh, but DD Jax has 96 speed. Um, not as fast as or elusive as uh, Hester, but um, you can see that everything else is better except awareness. Or catching traffic. All right, so, you know, Hester's pretty good wide receiver, but he's in my slot. Sean's my number one uh, with that 94 spec catch, uh, 90 route running, and 92 catching. Um, I've got some burners, and then I've got Steve Smith. I've got a lot of short wide receivers. Deshaun is 5'11", right? Deshaun and Hester are both, or no, Hester's 5'11", and Deshaun's 5'10". Uh, Steve Smith, is he 5'5", five, he's five 5'9", five so he's the same height as me. Well, technically, I think I'm 5'8", but for some reason, all my charts say 5'9". It's not true. And then Eddie Royal's 5'10". Uh, so all my receivers are short, even my fifth wide receiver, because I think Mike Wallace is pretty short. Yeah, Mike Wallace is only six foot. And then Tim's, I think, is tall, who caught a touchdown yesterday, right, for the Patriots? I think he did. He caught a touchdown. Uh, and he's 6'3". Uh, I should probably go. I need to go out and get Calvin back uh, so I can throw it to Metron. You guys, I bought back Amon Green because online, Amon Green is just going to go ham bony with Vic. We're going to run some triple option uh, with Green, Vic, and Reese. And uh, it's just the speed combo with Reese and Vic. And then a little bit of power with Green along with speed. Uh, if you guys didn't see his stats, I have had him before with Aaron Foster as his backup. But he's got 93 speed and 95 trucking. So, you know, he's kind of an all-around do-it-back. You know, I want Emmett because I want to just pound it down people's throats. Um, I like Charles, but I don't really, at this point in mud, I don't want to run around people. I want to run into them <laughs> with a Mongreen or Emmett. Uh, may have to buy Emmett. I might just have to suck it up. I have the team of the week, Ridley, um, who I may need to start using a little bit more with that 97 trucking, but I uh, picked him up for like 4K, so it's so whatever. Uh, Vic and Brady, it depends on what I'm feeling. If I'm feeling the triple option, I'll put in Vic. If I'm feeling just conventional offense, I'll put in Brady. And if I put in Brady, that raises my overall up to an 87. So uh, that's a thing. But let's put Vic back in there. Um, I do need to pick up – I want to pick up Ray Lewis. But I, I just can't bring myself to spend the coins because I just don't have them right now. And uh, let's get into the defense here, though. Uh, you guys know safeties. Charles Woodson, backup, haha, ha, Clinton Dix, and uh, my boy Ed Reed. Wish somebody would sign him. I don't think he was signed. I need to check on that, but I don't think he was signed. Someone needs to pick my boy up. Let him play one more year. Uh, Cam Chancellor, team of the week. Uh, I think I might sell him and get a more cover safety. I don't know. I don't know, though. Chancellor is just such a monster with that 96 hit power. He's just such a beast. I don't know if I can give him up, but might have to. Um, 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I could just play DJ Swearinger because Swearinger is pretty much just as good. He's you know he's a little bit behind and everything, but he's got that hit power. He's got that hit power. But Chancellor is just a six three monster in the middle of the field. Um, but uh, my team's a no fly zone. But uh, we got a Rackpo. Picked him up over Jamie Collins. Uh, I just needed to improve off of Jamie Collins. Just that's just a giant no. No, no, with Jamie Collins, but uh, Abraham's the backup. I love me, John Abraham. Mayo, who got hurt yesterday, so depressing, but uh, yeah, yep, yep. Mayo's my middle linebacker. Got to pick up that. Uh, Got to pick up that Ray Lewis. I need to pick up that Ray Lewis because then, then that little thing they show here. I'll back out. This thing right here, this little window thing that shows part of your team, that would just be disgusting with Ray Lewis there. Right there would just look disgusting with my team. And if I got that 99 Sherman, whoo, my team would be off the charts. Um, but let's get into the, I have Hightower. I don't know if I went over poor Hightower. I left him out. And James Harrison is back up, recently signed by the Steelers. Got beat by the Browns yesterday in pathetic style. Uh, corners, Crow Marty. You know, flashback Crow Marty. Never going to sell that. Uh, 92 brand, team of the week last week, Brandon Flowers. Uh, Revis. Got my boy Revis, who should have gotten a card last week for something. He just shut down A.J. Green and made A.J. Green fumble. I mean, come on. How does that not deserve a card? You shut down arguably the second best receiver in the NFL. I would say, Calvin Johnson is the best receiver, when he, but he hasn't been healthy. So Calvin Johnson is the best receiver. I don't care what anybody says. You can tell me anybody else is better in the NFL, but he's the best in the NFL. Uh, and then it's... Honestly, a tie between Brandon Marshall, Des Bryant, and A.J. Green. My opinion, just a tie with all those three. Not put them in order. They're tied at second. They're just a little bit behind. But uh, <laughs> then I got Tlaib. I keep him Tlaib because I like to play four corners, and Tlaib is arguably the best press corner, and I love to press, so I can't get rid of him. And it's only 50K, so 50K is not going to help me that much. I guess it's an elite badge, which I'll need, but we're keeping, we're keeping him. And then we got Browner, Brandon Browner. I don't even, I didn't even see him yesterday. He not play for the Patriots yesterday because I didn't see him. I didn't get to watch too much of the Patriots game, but I did not see Browner. Was he? What, did they sign him to sit him on the bench? He's better than er, Dennard. Need to play him over Dennard. And they definitely don't need Logan Ryan on the field. I like Logan Ryan, but he does not need to be on the field. Needs to be. Revis and Browner in press, man-to-man -man coverage. We could be talking business. We're talking business. Patriots are looking better. Uh, losing Mayo hurt yesterday, but that offense is starting to look pretty darn good. Gronk is looking pretty good. LaFell and Brady are starting to look good together. We got. We might. I might have something going. We might be. We might be in business, but. Uh, but that. But that zone for. I don't. Put put half of the field in the zone. The other one, it just doesn't work. I don't know why they tried that. They're trying it still. But you need to put Browner and Revis and press man-to-man. -man. Browner w Browner can play man-to-man. -man. Don't give me... Need to put him in press man-to-man -man coverage with McCourty on Brown. You need to put Browner and McCourty on the same side. And give you know so And then Patrick Chung and Revis, you know, kind of safety corner... Uh, the best safety in McCourty with the with the worst, not worst, but you know what I mean, like the second best corner in Browner, and then you need to put Chung with Revis on the – you know what, I'm just going to stop talking about the Patriots. What am I doing here? Uh, I got Chandler Jones at left end because I don't want to pay an astronomical amount for left end, and since that Rob Ninkovich came out, since that Rob Ninkovich came out, may I have to pick him up just to play him um, – but I don't want to pay the astronomical amount that he's going to be because of that stupid Von Miller. I might have to buy packs and just pray I pull one. Uh, and I'm a little, you know, Woodley, backing him up. Lamar Woodley. Uh, got Tommy Kelly and Vince Wolfer. I don't know who I want to D-tackle. Leave me alone about my D-tackles. I just don't know who I want to put there. And so that's about what we're leaving it at. William Perry is just too damn slow. I cannot stand how slow he is. As a D-tackle, I know Vilfork is slower, but Vilfork at least is a whole heck of a lot cheaper than William Perry. I just don't want to deal with William Perry and his BS slow ass. 
Like, I just assume Vince Wolfork slow, and I just let that go. William Perry needs to be a little bit faster. Uh, and then I got the Rising Star Clowny. I paid about 25 k for him. I uh, probably should have waited a little bit longer to get him, but you know what? It's whatever. But Clowney's a right end, and I did the double zone since I'm zone chemistry currently. So I put him over there because Chandler Jones isn't zone. And so it's been working out okay, but we'll see. I need to, I need to improve... And pro I need to get the Ninkovich so I can put Chandler Jones back to where he should be. I need to get a better D tackle. I need to get a better right, left outside linebacker than Hightower because 81 he's decent, but 81 just just ain't cutting it. And I uh, need to get that Ray Lewis. I suck playing defense online, so I need all the help I can get on my defense. I'm pretty good at playing offense, but defense is just not my it's not my specialty. Uh, speaking of specialties, let's go to my specialists. We got Marquette King, Gostowski. We bought Ryan Allen, Football Outsiders, to be my kickoff guy. Um, I don't know why. Just wanted the Patriots, but I wanted Marquette King. So that's how it went. And Ryan Allen there had James Harrison's picture for a second. But uh, who cares about the long snapper? It's Khalil. Uh, Foster is my third down running back with Bell behind him. But I like Foster. I like Aaron Foster, so I'm going to use him. And then Devin Hester, obviously, primetime Hester. Uh, got Marquise Goodwin there to back him up. Then Leon Washington and my boy D'Anthony Thomas. So that's my team. That's what we're looking at currently. Uh, I'll be heading into online in like a month uh, whenever I can finish up all these solos. I might just play online for a chunk. I don't know. I might just play online and uh, see where it takes me, see how it goes. But let's go check and see how much it would cost to do the Ray Lewis now. I highly doubt it's any less. They added these collections. Let's see here. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Got all these. Should probably just sell them. And my voice just cracked. Greg Olson is 52K. So 52. Doug Martin is 55. 40, 50. So, 100. We're just going to go 100. Forget the two. It's 100. Uh, 155. Demarius is going to make this some stupid number. Uh, I don't want to do the math. That's at 430, I think. 430? 440? 440. And then Joe Staley is going to make this an astronomically. So, 4... 445 65 we're going to say 565,000 coins to do that wait that seems wrong maybe 465 maybe I, I don't know I, man i do math so much during the week for school i don't feel like doing math now uh but let's see how much ray ray is cuz i want to pick up ray lewis cuz i like ray lewis and his car just looks cool let's look this up ray lou and I have it on captains. Uh, BCA. There are only two up, and the cheapest one is 382k. His stats are just so nasty. I just want to destroy people with Ray Lewis. I just want to destroy him with Ray Lewis. I think I'm going to get him. I think I'm going to bite the bullet, spend the coins, and then I'll just spend money this weekend when the new Legends come out or if some, if the BCA packs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. Also, I didn't say this in my other videos, but I had some, like, uh, debit card fraud that I had to take care of this weekend, too. So that also contributed to me not making videos because I lost all my money <laughs> with debit card fraud. So I had to take care of that. Uh, getting it back, though. So I uh, should be able... That's why I haven't bought packs in a while. So I'll probably spend some money and open up some packs. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll stop blabbing. And I'll catch you guys in my...